how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today we have with us some of the very popular android phones and all of them are running different android uis since animations have become one of the important aspect of every android skin and with every single upgrades brands are working really hard to give us the smoothest experience on our phones so i thought why not go ahead and compare the animations of phones that currently has some popular android skins we have got the galaxy s25 ultra with the one ui 8 then we have the pixel 10 pro xl running the latest android 16 followed by oneplus 13r which have recently updated to the latest version of oxygen os 16 and lastly the iq 13 which has the much improved and most anticipated origin os 6 Today in this video we're going to compare the animations and interfaces of these Android phones and let's find out which one provides the smoothest Android experience. Guys if you love watching these kind of comparison videos then don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. It would mean a lot to me. Now let's get started. Now before I go ahead with the comparison as you guys might know this is the season of smartphone launches. We have got the latest iPhones the all new pixel 10 pro xl and there are a couple of more exciting phones that going to launch really soon well during this time one commonly asked question that i get on most of my videos is how they can transfer data from android to iphone or iphone to android i know getting a new smartphone is always exciting but changing phones can also be really stressful especially when you have no idea about this amazing software called mobile trans from wondershare This single software takes care of all your data transferring needs including not just your apps and games but also your accounts videos photos and even your important whatsapp chats all types of data can be transferred to your new phone in just a few clicks now in order to do that simply install the mobile trans software to your pc or mac from the link given in the description below then once you open it up you will see different options such as phone transfer whatsapp transfer Then we have got backup and restore. You can also recover deleted WhatsApp chats and there are plenty of useful tools you get inside this single software. If you click on phone transfer, then connect both your phones to the computer. Now once it's done, you need to select the type of data that you want to transfer. Finally hit on start. It's going to take some time to transfer depending on the amount of data you have selected. Similarly, if you want to transfer WhatsApp chats, then just select WhatsApp transfer from the main menu. and follow the same process where you need to select the type of data such as photos videos files or audios that you want to transfer and then hit on start i really like how simple and easy the entire process is and within no time all your data will get transferred to your new phone definitely check this one out link is in the description below first things first i have set the refresh rate to 120 hertz on all these phones and the animation speed is set to default we haven't changed anything with it I'll also recommend you to watch this video at 60 frames because that's how you'll able to judge the animations a lot better. And by the way, if you want to have these kind of amazing wallpapers for your phone, then you can check out the Screencraft application. That's the place from where I get most of the wallpapers you see on my videos. Link is provided in the description below. Now let's start with the comparison.
Honestly, I do feel like Chinese skins have that extra bit of smoothness and fluidity compared to One UI and Pixel. Especially what OnePlus did with the Oxygen OS 16, they are calling it flow motion animations and just like the name suggests, every single action you do on OnePlus after installing the Oxygen OS 16, it just flows like butter. When opening and closing apps simultaneously or when you go to the app drawer and open the search bar or let's say when you access the customization screen, you see how smooth and fluid everything feels on the Oxygen OS 16. Not just the smoothness, but they have also added some nice elements throughout the interface that look super attractive and visually pleasing to the eyes. Similarly, the Origin OS 6 also feels a lot smoother. I mean, if you compare it with the Funtouch OS 15, then definitely there is a huge difference and straight away you're gonna notice that improvement once you install the Origin OS 6 update on your Vivo or IQ phone. The way how you interact with every single thing throughout the UI you're gonna feel that extra amount of smoothness and refinement that you might have never felt when you were using Vivo phones with Funtouch OS. The only thing that some of you may not like when using phones running Chinese UIs is that there is too much resemblance from iOS and they have taken a lot of inspiration from Apple's liquid glass design. But apart from that, in terms of smoothness and fluidity, both OnePlus and Vivo did a fantastic job with the Android 16 update. But if I have to pick one between these two, then the Oxygen OS 16 is definitely ahead in terms of animations compared to Origin OS 6. Now talking about the Pixel UI, I would say it probably has the most interactive animations on any phone right now. I mean, if you look at some of these animations, it feels like you are interacting with it. In addition to that, you also get some really good haptics on Pixel devices which makes the whole experience a lot more fun. The only area where the Pixel needs to improve is with the app opening and closing animations. This is where you will definitely notice a difference when comparing with other Android skins these days. It's because we still do not have parallel animations on Pixel UI, but I think it's high time for them to work on this. Apart from that, there are many beautiful animations implemented across the UI, especially with the Material 3 Expressive, which I think gives you an amazing overall feel. Now finally, if we talk about the One UI 8, no doubt the animations got a lot better and with the One UI 8 update, the experience is actually smooth without any jitter or lag and you really get a polished experience using a Samsung phone nowadays, unlike what we used to get back in the days of One UI 4 or One UI 5. The best part is you also get the option to further tweak the animations using good lock, which is something that is not possible on other Android skins. But still, I think Samsung should bring some more interactive animations like the Pixel UI that would definitely make the experience a lot more fun. No doubt you get a very smooth experience on One UI 8, but it is not as good as Oxygen OS 16. So that's pretty much it for this video. Do let me know in the comment section which is your favorite UI in terms of animations. And if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.